<laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to our channel. Um, we are Emma and Bella, and we are your two Disney and beyond duo. Disney obsessed duo. Yay. And we are here to film a Disney, Disney haul. haul. Walt Disney World haul. So this is going to be everything that we bought in Walt Disney World. Our whole family included, because if you watched our vlogs, it was all six of us in yeah, Walt Disney yeah. World. And it was crazy. Yeah. So um, trying to get six people out of the cabin at once no. is very hard. Yes. So, um, but this is everything that we bought, our whole family included. So we're going to go through everything. I don't think we're really going to do it in a particular order. It's just no, kind of like whatever we grab first. Yep. <laughs> and um, we'll try to show you a little bit closer up what these things look yeah. like. And so let's get started. Yay! All right, so first up, we got your purple. I'm pink. So um, we did the Disney dining plan on this trip. And um, when you do the Disney dining plan, you get a free mug for every person in your um, party. So uh, we went to, what was it, Pioneer Hall? Pioneer, Pioneer Hall to go get our um, mugs yes. at Fort Wilderness. Wizard Resort. Resort. Wilderness <laughs> Resort. Words are hard. Fort Wilderness Resort and Cabin uh, Campgrounds. So um, I got the pink one. Bella got purple. I love pink. It's hot pink. It's very pretty. And I like purple. Like it's so aesthetically. You weren't as excited about your purple as I was excited about my pink. <laughs> anyway, so this and so when you buy this um, drink, you can take it to any resort that you want to. You just can't take it into the parks and fill it up. I mean, technically you can put water in this. Yeah. But you can take it to any resort and you can fill it up at any resort and it's free. They're free refills. So um, that's real cool. So if you're doing the Disney Dining Plan, don't forget about your mud. Alright, no, we did a couple. We did, okay, we only used it once, if we're being honest. Listen, okay. <laughs> we, kept, <laughs> we kept forgetting that we had things. them. But next time, we will use them because we're yes. doing the Disney Dining Plan on our next trip. Yes! So, yes! So we get all yes. new colors! We get all new colors! Okay, we got way too excited about that. Yeah, yeah, it's literally mug, was, like, but when, it's a Mickey From mug. zero to 100, real quick. I was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that. Let's. Place that somewhere. We're just gonna there we go. Gonna <laughs> so, if anybody is a huge fan of Friends, then you know that Ross Geller, <laughs> every time he stays at like a hotel, he has to take all the free stuff. Like, there's a whole episode where him and Chandler get like screwed over on like the price of a hotel. So he's like, oh, we're gonna make up for it by taking everything free that the hotel offers. And he takes like light bulbs from like the lamps <laughs> and he takes like all the soap bars and stuff that they offer in the resort. Okay, well, I pulled a Ross Geller and I literally grabbed everything, like all I'm the soaps really that they had is. to offer. I kept seeing her. But it's only because, like, okay, if it's got Mickey on it and it's free, I'm taking it. Like, <laughs> like but this bag. Smells so good, but I also think it's from oh the Oh my gosh, bag. I didn't realize how much you took. <laughs> Don't tell Walt Disney World, because I think this is exactly why they might be putting in the soap dispensers instead of actually getting you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. I am the corporate, sorry. Okay, so, moving on. We have basic <laughs> products. Yes. We went to the Grand Floridian for the very first time, and let me tell you, Oh, it shit. is such a magical resort. It really is. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then they have Basin in there, which like yeah. <laughs> is everything you could ever want in a resort because first of all, if you ever go to Lush, I don't know, is Lush everywhere? Um, I'm not sure actually. Anyways, if you know what Lush is, it's basically bath bomb, salt scrubs, all that stuff. And it's expensive. It really Basin boys are not that expensive for being at the Grand Floridian yeah. annual Disney World. And like, they have sensitive skin friendly products. Yes, and well. Bella actually has really sensitive, sensitive skin, skin, like so sensitive to the point where sometimes she can't use anything with fragrances in it kind whatsoever. But, so, but she found some I stuff. I talked to one of the guys and he was like, we do. And there was like soap bars. I don't know if it's this Is that the, no, this one is the uh, bamboo charcoal. Okay, yeah. so, um, but I think you kind of used yours already, right? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, uh, so far one. exactly just like this, uh -huh. but it is oatmeal. Um, and so it helped a lot with her eczema. Yeah, it really has. Which was really awesome. Yeah. Um, and they have like a whole list, I wish I would have taken a picture of it, but they have mm -hmm. like a whole list of stuff that is banned from their products. Basically stuff that could hurt your skin in any type of way. So that's really awesome. Yeah. So we fell in love with Basin. And then we bought a bunch of stuff. We really <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> this is um, a soap bar and it's bamboo charcoal. And I think this was actually like a soap bar, was it for your face? Yeah. This, this was, was our mom's. So she got this because she's all about the skincare. Mm -hmm. So this is what she got. And then some face scrub. So face scrub, what, what flavor is this flavor? What scent is it? You can eat it. 
Um, I think this one was Dead Sea Mud. No, this one was the one that was for your face. This one's just a regular like charcoal, like so that you can use on your body. But this one was a face scrub and it's Dead Sea Mud. So, and then and here's, here's this the bath bomb. ginormous bath bomb. Um, I really don't remember this one was, um, what, you know what, this was Ryan's. Ryan got this one and I want to say it was like Electro something. I really no, feel yeah, like yeah. can't remember, yeah. but it smells really fruity and kind of lemony and zesty, so it's off. Yes! I forgot, hold on. We gotta pause real quick, I'll be right back. I forgot my bath bomb that has little Mickey's in it. I'll be right back. This one was, I believe, like, Waltz. Like, I don't know what it's called. We're obviously really bad at this because we yeah. can't remember any of the <laughs> I think it was Waltz or Mickey. <clears throat> but it's, like, white and has little Mickey, like, Oh, and is Mickey this one of the ones that had hidden Mickey confetti in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they showed us this one in the, the store, and it was so cute. It was really soft to me, the one really soft. Oh, oh. oh I'm excited to use it. Yeah. So, um, that was another one that we got. Going in deep again. Um, so I would, okay, we're going to try to do this without getting the oil absolutely everywhere. Okay, so this is a salt scrub, grapefruit salt scrub, and this one is supposed to be a um, salt scrub for your hands to make them softer, which Lord knows I need, mm. everyone in this house needs. We yeah. do so much like hand work, and where we work, we use our hands a lot, and our hands get really dry and really gross, so um, this is amazing. You got to try them in the actual like basin store, and yeah. afterwards I swear yeah, my, my hands were so soft. They were like baby butt soft. <laughs> so, um, highly recommend, 1010 would recommend, 10, 10 going would recommend. to try the hand scrubs at the Grand Floridian and getting some hand scrub. This was 35, which I don't think is that yeah, bad. A lot of people would be like, 35, that's yeah. a lot. But this is so much, and you only put like maybe a dime's worth on yeah, your yeah, hand, yeah, it and it makes them so soft. Yeah. So this could last you potentially for like, I don't know, a really long time. So, 1010 would recommend. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so this is my bag, and this is what I got. So if you go to Basin, they actually slice soap um, there, like there for you, and um, they have slices of soap sitting out. And this one is the Spa Essence. And should I open it up? Let's open it up. Okay. I thought there was gonna be plastic wrapping around it. I was wrong. This one's just called Mickey, and I got it because first of all, it's like aesthetically pleasing. Like, look at all the pastel Mickey's on there. Yeah. Like. I'm I all about it. Well, so I don't know if I should get it. <laughs> I'm all about it. Oh, is it even like, is it focusing right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't have my glasses on so I can't see what's going on with the viewfinder. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, this one smells so good. It just smells clean. Yeah. Like, it just has a really Wait, clean smell to it. I don't, I don't. These are just like hand soaps. Like, really? basically, just put it in the bathroom, use it when you wash your hands. And it smells absolutely delicious. It just smells like really clean, and that's what I like out of a soap. So, yeah. um, we got that one. I'm gonna set that there. I won't. There we go. Oh, okay. So this one was just basically kind of like a marble, um, like, design on it. Yeah, really but know. this one smells, it's also like one of my favorite smells. I don't know, it's kind of like a cucumber, minty kind of... Yeah. Yeah, cucumber. and it just smells there's so... There's definitely cucumber in There's here. definitely cucumber in here. But uh, for the life of me, I can't remember what the description was on it. I just knew it smelled good and I wanted it. So, <laughs> there we go. Me. All right, and then um, I actually have a receipt in here, so I can actually kind of, ooh, it's starting to fade already. All right, I'm gonna try to tell you how much some of this stuff was. Um, let's see, so the Neon Mickey, and the slices, they vary in price. So this one was actually $6.29, and the uh, marble looking one was $5.39. So they're not too bad, and I think they do it by a weight system. Yeah. So um, it's like however much per pound yeah. is how much you're gonna pay for it. So, and then I got three bath bombs, and these bath bombs, I don't need a large bath bomb. Yeah. I don't have time to be sitting in the shower for like hours on end. So I just need a little small one to relax myself for about 30, 40 minutes yeah. at most. And these are perfect for that. Like they're little baby bath bombs, but they were three for $10. Like yeah, how could you not like pass really, it up? Really like that is so cheap. So I bought three of them. And I think the, this one's got the, like the bigger ones, because I know there was a sale for like the big ones too. There was a bigger one. Oh, I want to say they were like two for eleven. I think they were two for eleven. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, which is pretty good. I could too. be wrong, but they were really good. They were really fairly priced, yeah. I think. Yeah. So um, I have this one right here, 
I can't remember what they, what kind of scents they were. I can't remember. Sorry, I saw somebody passing <laughs> outside my window right now and I got distracted. Squirrel! Okay, so, um, I got this one. I got three of them. This one has like a rose scent to it. Yeah. I really like that one. And for me, I have to be careful with like what kind of scents that I buy because my migraines, I have really bad migraines and they get triggered by anything. any kind of scent. Like anything, sight, sound, smell. So I usually have to be careful with what I buy because if not, I'll end up with like a crazy migraine. But like none of these did that for me, which was crazy. Yeah. So I think you got the smaller version of the Mickey's. I did get the smaller version of No, I didn't. Oh, this one doesn't have any Mickey's in it. Oh. oh. But this one, it's more of like a, God, I can't even describe that. That's like a, I usually go for stuff that has more of a grapefruit, lemon, mango yeah. kind of smells. I like tropical smells. I like citrus smells. Yeah. I don't usually go for something that's um, lavender because that's usually what's going to trigger my migraines. So, um, and then I have this one. And yeah, this one was more of like a tangerine, tangerine like um, mandarin yeah. this mango one was kind really of smell. Good. Like, yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah. So I'm excited to use them. I've never used a bath bomb before. <laughs> I'm excited to treat myself. Maybe yeah. sitting there with a little champagne. <laughs> have like a um, me and myself kind of night you know all right uh while we were at Walt Disney World we were there for Christmas so um we did do kind of like a small secret Santa within like our six family yeah. member yeah. like and so we tried to make it as fun as possible because we didn't really take any gifts um yeah. I wasn't expecting anything I thought Walt Disney World was like the best gift that you could possibly yeah. give so I didn't necessarily want anything whatever I was gonna buy I was gonna buy for myself so with my own money so we tried to do kind of like a secret Santa thing and try to make it fun. So we went yeah. to Disney Springs one of the nights. Uh, we picked random names and then we went shopping for that person in our family. So um, we got Alex and Ollie bracelets from, was it dad that got you? Uh, mom got mom me. Mom got me, dad got me. Yeah. Uh, mom got you, dad got me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is what we got. So you want to show them your Alex and Ollie bracelets? I just, okay. I don't know why, but the way they like, did this ribbon really fascinated me. I don't. I don't oh, because it's elastic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like, I love amazing packaging. Yeah. If it's amazing packaging, I'm going to buy it. I don't care yeah. how crappy the product is. If it looks nice. I'm probably gonna buy it. Yeah. So, but the good thing is that Alex Lani is an impra a crappy product. Like, yeah, it's an yeah. amazing product. It's a really good product. And um, they're all about like positivity and self love and all that stuff. But they also have Disney bracelets. Yeah. So, they have like a whole line with the Disney parks. Mm -hmm. and you, I think you can buy it on the Shop Parks app or you can buy it on the Alex and Ani, um yeah. store inside Disney Springs. Mm -hmm. And they actually still have some at World of Disney. So, anyways, this is what she got. Go ahead and show them what you got and I'll get out mine. So I got this cute lavender. It looks lavender. I'm not really sure what kind of color it is. It's really cute. I'm not trying, I'm dropping it. But it has little Mickey's on them. I don't know if we can. We're gonna. This. We're gonna tilt some of this up close. Yeah. Again. It has little Mickey's on them. I think it's really cute. And then it's like an open kind of like thing to fit your wrist. I think it was really cute. So no matter how chunky your wrist. Like mine, <laughs> so I have sausage fingers, sausage them. wrists. You can wear them because they're adjustable and it's really awesome. So um, I thought that one was really cute. And what they told our parents actually is that it's a it's a Mickey on there, and we'll show you up close. Um, we'll put in like a little like mm -hmm. small clip of what it looks like up close. Um, but they're hidden Mickey's, and they actually said that if you turn it upside down, it looks like Cinderella's carriage. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, Isn't that really so cute? cute? I thought that's so cute. And I like the pastel. Like, yeah, the color, it almost yeah. looks like homemade, but it's gorgeous. And it's yeah. high quality, too. Yeah. Like, that's it's not really going cute. anywhere. And like the um, the jewels on it and stuff are just, mm -hmm. they're really nice. So I really like her bracelet. Her bracelet's really cute. Yeah, I really like it. And then I got my first Alice and Ani bracelet as well. So, um... If you have been following us, or I don't know, maybe you don't know me, maybe you do, maybe I've talked about it in the vlogs, I don't know how much I've talked about it, but I'm obsessed with Little Mermaid, like, I have so much merch, and then, I don't know, you can't see it, but on top, on that very top shelf, I yeah. have uh, Little Mermaid ears, I have a Little Mermaid blanket, and I have, there's also, there's also, yeah, that Little Mermaid, um, that's supposed to be a piggy bank back there, I got that when I was like 12, I'm not throwing it away, I freaking love her. Okay. <laughs> So, um, I'm obsessed. So, um, sure enough, my first all of Sony had to be Little Mermaid themed, I don't know. Go ahead and show it. So it's got that, and then it's got like the little jewel, and it says, uh, follow your dreams wherever they lead. I don't know how much it was, it was a gift, so 
Yeah. yeah. But I'm in love with it. I can't wait to buy more Alex and Anis because yeah. um, I had never really held one before. I've never really saw one like in person. Mm -hmm. But they really are great quality. Yeah. And um, I wore them after the day that I got it. I wore it every day in the parks. And I was so scared. Um, like when I wear any type of jewelry in the parks, I'm going to be scared that I'm probably going to lose it. Um, yeah. I wasn't worried about this at all because the way it wraps around your wrist and the quality of it, it's not going anywhere. Your little charm isn't going to fall off. So that was awesome. Thank Love you. it. 10 10 would recommend. 10 10 would recommend. But anyways, thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mom, for these awesome, Fishes. cute gifts. So, um, yeah. I got this hat. I'm sorry. I got really excited there for a minute. Okay. I've seen this hat on Instagram and I wanted it. And let me tell you, Walt Disney World is coming for small shops. If you guys are on Instagram at all and you know um, any small shops and you like are in the Disney community on Instagram, then you know that there's tons of small shops and you know that dad hats are like all the rage right yeah. now. And it's like minimalism too, so it'll yeah. have, it'll have like a Dole Whip or like a Mickey bar like on the hat and yeah. then it's like nothing else. So Disney found out about small shops <laughs> and they're coming for them hard. And so Disney came out with like all these dad hats. And I saw this one and on Instagram and I was like, I have to buy that. Like when I get there, like this is the hat that I'm looking for. And I spent days looking for this and not yeah. until <laughs> and not until in like Thursday, the Thursday that we left is when yeah. I actually found it. Yeah. It's the, amazing. Uh, World of Disney. Uh, World of Disney. So um well, let me go ahead and show you this beautiful freaking hat. So it's kind of like this um pastel periwinkle blue. Um and it's got the castle right here on the front. Yes. I'm all about this hat, and like, this is definitely something that a small shop would have made, but Disney made it, so I got it. <laughs> so I got it. <laughs> so, I saw it and I was like, I have to have this hat, and I'm all about, I know, this probably makes me yeah. basic, but I'm all about like the pastel colors, like comfort colors going on right yeah. now. Um, so, this was the perfect addition to my slowly, small, but growing collection of dad hats. So, absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Moving on to the next shirt that I got, um, Style by Magic. Again, if you guys are on Instagram, um, follow Style by Magic. She is like all the goals. Like she's gorgeous. She's like the nicest person ever. Well, at least I've never met her in person, but like all of her posts, like every time she just like is active on social media, like she's always so graceful and so kind. And she's literally like, just goals. I love her. So um, she styled this shirt um, with like a flannel just like this and when I saw the shirt I was like man where she get that shirt I hope it's not sold out or I hope she didn't buy it out of Kohl's and it's like maybe out of okay our camera did something really weird yeah <laughs> anyways so but it just like stopped recording right there right yeah 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 okay cool yeah. all right so anyway so Style by Magic had this she styled it with like a flannel just like this and it looked amazing she looked so cute in it and I was really hoping that she didn't buy it from anywhere else like a box lunch or something that could have been out of season no she bought it at Walt Disney World and it's gorgeous and I wanted this shirt yeah, the minute really that I saw it. it. Yeah. So um, it's just like this white t-shirt and it's got Mickeys everywhere. But it's like, I don't know, they're starting to come out with more stuff that's like um kind of like a vintage Mickey. Yeah. And I love that because as much as I love like this type of Mickey, like, I don't know if you can even freaking see him because You can see his little know, shoes. You can see his little shoes. <laughs> but um as much as I love like new Mickey and the one that they present in the parks, I really love old Mickey, like Steamboat Willie Mickey. And so I like it when it looks like vintage. And so um it's all Mickey on it and it's cute because it looks like he's like running away, it looks like he's scared, it looks like he's jumping like it's just really yeah. cute and i like these colors too because it's all primary colors mm -hmm. like it's red yellow green on this like basic tee so i had to get it it's really cute so i think that was one of the things that like i knew i was going to splurge on um the minute that we went to walt disney world and uh, also random i don't even think he knows that we have it in here yeah ryan had to get this goofy um keychain yeah his thing is goofy I don't, I don't know, know why. Yeah, he wanted the hat, like the, he the wanted big goofy hat. Those basic, yeah. like, goofy dad yeah. hats that, like, it's like Goofy's face out front and then it's like his yeah. ears coming down. He wanted that one so bad, and we were like, dude, you're literally only gonna wear right. all this yeah. Like, when are you ever gonna need this besides that? But whatever. So he settled for a keychain. Ryan has an obsession with Goofy. I yeah, realize. yeah, I've, honestly, his I've thing is Goofy. Too. So um, he got this keychain. I don't even think he remembers that he got it, but he got it, and I just found <laughs> it in the bag. So. <laughs> All right, and also more oh. Goofy. So they are the Goofy's candy sour um, candy 
Goofy's Candy Company. Yeah. Um, they're the sour cherry balls. These um, are like my addiction to be honest. Are they really? I've never really tasted one. one. Okay, when we went back, like the first time that we ever went, we got these and they were amazing. Like I wanted to eat the entire bag. It was just really bad, but I wanted, they were so good. And so when we came back, everybody was like, we need some more sour cherry balls. Yeah. So, <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> we need some more balls. <laughs> so anyways. So, um, these were actually a snack credit, so at the end of our World Disney World stay, uh, we had a lot of snack credits left over, which was so weird because, yeah. like, during the Disney Dino Fan, and we'll go more into depth with this when we start doing, uh, like, I guess, like, a how-to, what not to do, what we recommend with the Walt Disney World kind of videos, we'll talk more about the Disney Dining Plan. But anyway, it's just, like, a quick little, like, info for you. It's two meals, two snacks per day per person in your family. So, um, at the end of our stay, with, we felt like we ate so much. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was stuffing my face every day. Turns out we weren't eating enough. Yeah. That we had so much yeah. snacks left over. We actually had 19 snack credits left over. Yeah. So we went to the Candy Cauldron in Disney Springs and we loaded up like two, two. giant bags of oh, like treats, treats, of like Rice Krispie treats, mm -hmm. brownie bites, cake pops, like candies just like these. Um, unfortunately I can't show you any of the Rice Krispie treats because we ate them all because they were delicious. They really were. So um, those are long gone, believe me, like <laughs> <laughs> they, they've been gone. Yeah. But these, we actually forgot that I had these in the bag and so we haven't eaten these yet, but these are amazing, uh, supposedly. I haven't tasted these yet, but everybody in the family loves these. So we had to get a couple of bags of these, so. Yeah, so just know that if you ever have snack credits left over, you can always turn them into treats like this or treats for the candy cauldron, like Rice Krispie treats. Mm -hmm. So um, look into that afterwards because don't let your snack credits go to waste, yes. ever. They are there, you and pay the for them. And the treats are so good. Like, yes, and the treat, oh my god, the Rice Krispie, yeah. Rice Krispie treat with the M&M's on them. Oh, and the, um, I don't think the, so the popcorn counted as a snack credit? No, the popcorn didn't count. But Actually, I have a bag downstairs. We could probably like put that in here as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so um, don't ever let your stack credits go to waste. Know that you can go, you can get stuff like this, and you can take it home. And these, we actually made, like, we had so much treats yeah, that we made, made, like, two full baskets for our sisters of, like, souvenirs and just, like, mm -hmm. rescue tree treats, like, um, candies from Walt Disney World to bring them back and just share with them. Yeah. So um, that's how much snack credits I'm yeah. going over. Like, <laughs> Didn't you say you know, we had to get, like, two of everything? We almost got two of everything that was in the case. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. It was, it was so, um, yeah, don't let your stack credits go to waste. Always bring home snacks because you bring home some of the magic, and then you're like, yes. little piece of Walt Disney World here at home. I'm in love. All right. <laughs> so, um, during also during our little secret Sienna like situation that we had going on at Disney Springs, so I got my mom. I had to get her gifts, and she is obsessed with Cinderella. <laughs> yeah. She loves Cinderella. Like every time she meets Cinderella in the park. She's like on the verge of tears. She yeah. loves her so much. It's adorable. So, um, she's like literally turned into like a five year old. And so, um, I got this is one of the two gifts that I got her. And I got her a Cinderella mug. And I've actually seen this before. And like, I've been wanting to get it. But, um, so when we went, I was like, this has to be like the perfect mug to get her. So it has Fairy Godmother on there. And then it says, um, on the back, it has the pumpkin. It says, even miracles take a little time. And so it's really cute. And then on the inside it says like Fairy Godmother. And like she actually is kind of like a 3D, like she actually pops out of the mm -hmm. mug. So um, it's Thank just you. really pretty. And I, like I said, I'm obsessed with all the pastels right now. So I saw this and I was like, she has to have this mug. And this woman drinks coffee like crazy. So this yeah. is gonna get used. So um, yeah, so if you guys wanna know how much this one was, this one was actually $15.99. So not bad for a Walt yeah. Disney World mug. Like that's really nothing. Um, sometimes it can get up to like, what, like 26 or something? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's really not that bad for a Walt Disney World mug. And it's gorgeous and it's pretty. So, it's cute. Okay. And then this was the other gift that I got her because we had like a $50 price, price, price limit, price, price range limit. So um, this is another gift that I got for her. I've seen her eyeing it when we were at the yeah. um, Contemporary Resort. We took a picture together um, for, Christmas. for Christmas and she was like, I really want like a, a Disney frame to put this in for when we get home so we can frame it and put it somewhere. So she was eyeing this at the Contemporary and she was kind of debating. She was like, should I get it or not? Should I? And so yeah. finally I was like, you know what, I'll buy it for her. So um, it's just this basic like kind of gray frame. And I like it because it yeah. actually kind of, um, 
it's almost like a little it's not technically distressed because there's it's not peeling anywhere yeah but the but coat is lightly like that coat of gray yeah. is lightly on there to where it still looks like a little rusty mm -hmm. and so um and then it's got like little hidden mickeys all the way around like the border yeah all the way around like the border of the frame and then it's just like this really pretty gray which will match with our like furniture perfectly and the kind of style that my mom's going with um and so yeah and so this is where we'll put our beautiful little family christmas picture in Right now has Mickey. It has the trio. This is our family ah. picture though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and then she actually went ahead and got one more frame because one wasn't enough. She had to get some more. Wait, I didn't even know she got another one. She literally got another frame, yeah. No. Um I got her that one, so that one's part of her Christmas gift, but then she was like, okay, I kinda need this one too because she fell in love oh, with it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I see this one's this a little now. bit more like out there Disney. This one was subtle Disney, this one's like Disney Best face. In <laughs> the face. <laughs> Making memories, show your character. Oh boy. Yeah, it's got like Mickey over here, it's got Mickey, Mickey balloons over here. Oh. I love Mickey balloons. Castle. Uh, castle. Then it's got like little quotes around. Oh look, and then there's a hidden Mickey in the fireworks. Aww. That's really cute. Hidden and Mickey's so, um, this was, um, this was another one that she wanted. Oh, you know what? This is a lie. She wanted this one she wanted this one to be uh, the picture of us from Christmas. This one's our Christmas photo. And this one is actually a photo. It's gonna be a photo of our parents. Um, the first day that we were at Magic Kingdom, we took a picture of them in front of the castle and they're kissing and it's literally like goals. 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 So um, she's actually, that's where she's gonna put this picture at. And I was like, yes. We do should it. insert that picture. It'd be gorgeous. Gonna <laughs> we're gonna insert it now. <laughs> I'm gonna be like Tim Tracker and be like, here's our picture camera noise like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so um anyway so yeah these are the two frames that we got and okay if you just bear with us i know it's probably been a long haul yeah. it doesn't it didn't feel like we had that much stuff yeah, and then honest. we looked at it and we're like okay this is this is a lot a of lot. stuff so uh and we actually had a little bit more than this but they were actually gifts like you had one for your friend she got some socks she got a hat for her friend and stuff, so this isn't even she everything. She loves hat. Like, I went to work and I gave it to her and she was showing it off to everybody. Yeah. She's like, this is what my friend got me. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no. Okay, and then, um, okay, so one more thing. Actually, no, just kidding. We still have a few more things left. <laughs> Sorry, this is going to be a long one. Um, so I, I don't know if you can completely see back there. Um, I'm trying to do, like, a whole art wall. This is actually my bedroom that we're in. Hi. Um, so I'm trying to start doing like an art wall back here by my bed and by this uh, bookshelf. And so this is why I have this um, Live Your Dream and then I have another one. I don't think you can actually see it in the frame right now. But it's um, a picture of a camper with a lot of balloons on it and it says Adventures Out There. And then I have my pin boards, which we're actually going to go through in a minute because I did some pin trading. Um, but anyways, the whole point is that I'm trying to create an art wall over there. And so I knew that in the Market Co-op, in Disney Springs, um, they have for the life of me, I can't remember the small shop. It's a bunch of little open shops right there in the Market Co-op, mm -hmm. and you'll see that they have a bunch of Disney art on canvases yeah. and everything. And they have poster cards, and uh, like the bigger artwork can actually be transferred onto postcards. Mm -hmm. And I saw this print, and I needed to have it because uh, first of all, it's like this dark kind of like navy blue, yeah. and my co the colors in my room kind of incorporate that color as well. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, this will be a really good like top color because everything's kind of like pastel back here. So, um, I will show you guys this up close, but it's really cute. It was only $4.99. It's a postcard, but it's gorgeous and can be framed. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna put it in a frame and I'm gonna put it on my back wall. And it's got, um, like, people dancing on here, but it's Magic Kingdom themed. And it's got, um, all the lands on there, basically. Because there's people dancing and there's, like, a girl, there's, for all the girls dancing, they have dresses. But all of their dresses are themed to the lands yeah. in Magic Kingdom. That was hard to explain. Anyways, <laughs> so it's absolutely gorgeous. I fell in love with it the minute that I saw it and I was like, okay, I have to have this. It needs to be in my room. So there's that. And then almost there. Uh, we had we got some pins. <laughs> so um, really exciting. So last time when we went to Disney World, yeah. we didn't really know much about pins. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then we came home, we started watching vlogs, we realized that like pin trading was something that we really wanted to get into. So um, we bought pins um, slowly from the shop parks up and then we realized that we had some to trade because we got some really crappy ones in. <laughs> so, um, and so we realized that pin trading was something that we really wanted to do. So uh, I'm gonna put that one away. That was actually for a giveaway. Follow us on Instagram. Sometimes we do giveaways. Sometimes you can yes. win stuff from us. So um, this is one of the pins that I got. 
I've seen this pin around for a really long time. And I was like, at first I thought it was a small shop pin. And then I realized this was actually Disney Parks. And so I told myself, like, next time you're in a Disney Park, this is what you need to buy. It's an Alice in Wonderland pin. And it's got, she's got, like, the little glasses on there. I don't know if you can see it. We'll do all close, up close, close up, like, close-ups close later. But anyways, and so it says, stay weird. And I just love that so much. Because Alice in Wonderland, I don't know. I was always yeah. obsessed with it growing up. Just because of all, I yeah. guess... The, the weird, like, like, I don't, odd, know. Like, I don't really know, it's just, I think, yeah. like, as a kid, you're just kind of, like, infatuated yeah. by it because of all, like, the colors and mm -hmm. the strange things that go yeah. on, and it just puts you in another world, and so, I was always obsessed with Alice in Wonderland growing up. I always wanted to go down the rabbit hole, like, that was always, like, you don't understand, like, I've always wanted to go down the rabbit <laughs> hole. And so, I saw this pin, and I was like, finally, I can own it, so I bought it, and I took it. So, I love it. And then we also decided. Here, you want to show? Them? Yeah. Okay. This one was from our resort. It's the Fort Wilderness. It has a little, like, old Mickey on it. It's really cute. I'm telling you, obsessed with all the Mickey's. Yeah, the vintage Mickey's. Mickey's. All obsessed with all, all, all the Mickey's. I'm about to put my <laughs> the hand behind it. <laughs> but it was really cute, and I really liked it. There was, like, a, <laughs> like, another one, but I thought this one was more, like, aesthetically pleasing. I like it because, like, well, I'll show you that up close. Like I said, uh, all yeah. this will be shown up close um, later on. Like, in between these, each clip of what we're showing you, we'll actually show you, like, an up close of what it is. This is happy but, um, so, it just says Happy Camper on it, and it says Fort Wilderness Resort and Campgrounds. And so we decided that we were going to start collecting pins from each resort that we stay at because yeah. um, it's a memory. It's something to, like, yeah. um, like collect and so it's something to remember by. So um, we actually didn't grab one for Art of Animation on our last trip, but hopefully yeah. next time we go, we can, oh, yeah, we can hop over to Art of Animation yeah, and, and get one. go cop one up. So, um, but yeah, we decided to start collecting pins from every resort that we see at. And then if you, once I actually put it up close, it's really pretty because it has like this marbling detail on the back, like gold marbling detail on the back. And it's just a gorgeous pin. So, um, I really liked it. And Very that's the one that I chose. I mean, they had other options in the Fort Wilderness cabins, but this is what I really was drawn to. So <laughs> that's the pins that we got. But it doesn't stop there because we had more trend, trends. We have more chins. Words of hurt. <laughs> we had more pins that we traded. So, um, we are trying to, let me grab it, further our pin collection, mm -hmm. obviously. So, um, I will show them up close, but all these on this side are what we required from our last trip. Yes, it is a lot of pins. Yes, I know I'm slowly gathering <laughs> a problem. I know it's becoming a problem, honestly, because you wouldn't even begin to know how much money you spend on pins once you start really getting into it. Yeah. It's bad. So, um, yeah, so we got a Kingdom of Cute uh, mystery pack, and we were able to get two more out of that collection. Then we started the hat collection, because oh, yeah. I the wanted the Big like, Thunder honestly, one so bad. My favorite one so far. Yeah, the hat collections. Yeah. I really like the hat but collections. But also the, um... The hot air balloons. Yeah, I was looking for this one when we were there and I couldn't find it. But um, yeah, so this is our pink collection. I'll show you up close. All these are ones that we traded for, and then these are the collections that we are like slowly starting. So um, I will show you them up close. But other than that, is that everything? Is that all our? Watch, we're gonna end this video and then we're gonna be like, well, <laughs> we forgot something. I wanna say this is everything. All right, well, now that there's a giant mess on my floor from all the things that we just, like, yeah, a box and opened all over again. Put on the ground. Um, that is everything that we got in our Walt Disney World haul. Yeah. So, um, thank you amazing people for sticking around if yeah. you stuck around. Um, this is probably going to be a pretty lengthy video. So, yeah, um, yeah, we were, it was, uh, we didn't think we got this much stuff. Right? Yeah, I didn't think that we got that much stuff, but we got a good yeah. amount of stuff. So, um. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like, like and subscribe. and subscribe. You know, like all that good stuff. You know, follow us on social media. Yeah. Like, subscribe. Yeah. If you like what you saw, comment below. Tell us what you That's have up. bought at Walt Disney World before. Or what you like at Walt Disney World. Just comment down or if below. you started making your shopping list for your next Walt Disney World trip. Or if you like any of the stuff that we bought and you're like, hey, where'd you or get yeah. that? talk to us. We like to communicate. We like to, no, believe me, we love to communicate. <laughs> so, um, I like talking to people. I like making new friends. So, um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys in our next video.